Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 179, Sydney the Renegade. Sir Top of Hat and Salty rolled into the diesel works that afternoon. The controller of the railway stepped out and gazed at the haphazard state of the facility. Sir Top of Hat, gasped Daisy, what are you doing here? I have some unfortunate news, he replied. I ordered the parts and equipment necessary for the diesel works renovation, and they were all delivered to the docks last night. Unfortunately, I sent Ben to take the train, and he has gone missing along with all of the supplies. Huh, grunted Bert. Leave it to a steamy to lose our cargo. How rude of you, Bert, interrupted Paxton. The supplies should be the least of our worries. An engine has gone missing. I'm sorry to say that the upgrades I promised you all will have to be put on hold for a while, continued Sir Topham Hat. Finding Ben is my priority. Parts are replaceable. Good engines like him are not. Sir Topham Hat walked away and the diesels groaned. It's a shame that Ben's missing, but why should we have to suffer, said Norman. Yeah, agreed Airy. The railway inspector ignored us for months, and now Sir Topham Hat's going to do the same. Diesel! What do you think we should do? Diesel sat silently for a moment before speaking. We Diesels don't ask for much, he muttered. We do the dirtiest work of the railway, yet we receive no respect. It's time to open Sir Topham Hatt's eyes to the fact that there's a place not far from here where Diesels are treated properly. If the upgrades get put on hold again, I say we go on strike. It's the only way to get his attention. The Diesels agreed to the plan. Later that evening, Thomas and his friends had just finished pulling their final trains of the day when Henry spoke up. Did you hear the news? He asked quickly. What news? Asked Edward. Sir Topham Hatt has decided which engine he's going to send away, replied Henry. He can't keep both Stafford and Ryan, and I guess he's made a decision. This is a terrible situation, said Thomas sadly. They're both really nice engines and have earned the right to stay. But there are too many engines on Sodor, said Gordon firmly. Sir Topham Hatt can't let every engine that ever visited stay as long as they want. Not to mention how pointless all of those extra engines would be, agreed James. Oh, I know what we should do, cried Percy. We should talk to Sir Topham Hatt about a, uh, uh... Oh, a desperation! The engines groaned loudly. Percy, we've been over this, said Thomas. It's a deputation, not a desperation. Sorry, mumbled Percy. I was only trying to help. Percy's got a point, said Edward. It's down to either Ryan or Stafford that is getting sent away, and I don't think anything is going to sway Sir Topham Hatt's mind. The news spread quickly around the island, even to the two engines involved in the situation. Well, the day has come, said Stafford quietly. One of us is getting sent away very soon. Indeed, murmured Ryan, but you shouldn't have to worry. I'm sure it's going to be me. I was so rude to everyone when I arrived and have caused a lot of trouble for the railway. Don't say that, replied Stafford. I'm too funny looking and my battery needs to recharge quite frequently. There are too many things wrong with me for Sir Topham Hatt to let me stay. Ryan became sad at the thought of leaving and puffed away to get some fresh air. The full moon lit his way as he puffed down the tracks of Sodor. What am I thinking, he said to himself. There's no way Sir Topham Hatt lets me stay. Plus, the island needs Stafford, otherwise there won't be anyone left to shunt in the yard. The answer here is clear. I must leave the railway so that Stafford can stay. It's only fair to him, and I'll save Sir Topham had the trouble of deciding. There has to be a way off this island somehow. Ryan had decided to run away. Just as dawn was breaking, he came to a screeching halt at the bottom of the hill. There lay a derailed diesel on a strange-looking car off to the side of the track. What happened here? cried Ryan. Please, get help, said the engine. I need to get back on the tracks immediately. Not until you tell me who you are, said Ryan firmly. I don't recognize your face. You're obviously not one of Sir Topham Hatt's engines. I'm not, confessed the diesel. I was out for a midnight stroll and that car was sitting on the line over there. I smashed into it and rolled right off the rails. Now can you please help me? Ryan still wanted to run away and saw that the bridge was clear. 
I'm sorry, but I can't, he said to the diesel. I'm leaving the Sodor Railway now. I'm sure another engine will be along shortly, and they'll be able to help you. Where do you think you're going? asked the engine. Over the drawbridge to the mainland? You must be joking. Ryan became cross. I'll have you know it was my decision to leave. Sir Top of Hat is not sending me away. No, not that, said the diesel. The other railway is not the place to go, especially for a steam engine like you. Ryan rolled his eyes. Thank you for questioning my motives, but I've already made up my mind. Now, if you'll excuse me... Ryan, said the engine. That's your name, isn't it? I, I saw it on your boiler there. I'm begging you not to go over that drawbridge. What you'll find on the other side is not what you're expecting. Ryan became curious. What are you doing over here then? He asked firmly. I'm running away, just like you are. My name's Sydney. I've been to Sodor a few times, but I've finally made up my mind that this is where I want to stay. Take my advice. If you cross that bridge, they'll take your coal, strip away your paint, and put you on a siding for scrap. I've seen it happen. In fact, they, they just caught a small engine trespassing a few days ago. Oh, what was his name? Bob? No. Oh, no, it was Ben. Ben? cried Ryan. You know about Ben? Yes, said Sidney curiously. How do you know him? He's a Sodor engine, exclaimed Ryan. He's being sent for scrap? I'm not sure, replied Sidney. Those other diesels are terrible. That's why I don't want to be with them anymore. We have to tell Sir Topham Hatt, said Ryan quickly. Ben's in danger and we need to save him. No, 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 said Sidney quietly. You can't tell Sir Topham Hatt because he'll know that I'm here. Just, uh... Just go get a breakdown crane and put me back on the rails and I'll be out of your way in no time. And where is the diesel works located from here? No, I can't do that, said Ryan. I was seconds away from not being a Sodor engine, but as of right now, I still work for Sir Topham Hat. Sorry, Sidney, but you'll have to wait until he arrives. Ryan began to back away when he noticed the strange car off to the side again. That's the second car that's been washed up on these tracks here recently, he murmured, and what a peculiar one at that. Just then, Ryan looked towards the drawbridge and gasped at what he saw. Oh my, he whispered, this is huge. I need to go find Sir Top of Hat immediately, and Ryan rushed away as fast as his wheels could carry him.